The M7 sawmill is easy to transport as it only weighs 52 kilograms. You won't even need a trailer. The sawmill can easily be placed on the roof rack of a car with the help of a few planks. Matthias Bustrom, who developed the M7 model, demonstrates how easily one man can handle the sawmill. The transport planks can later be used as supports for the sawmill. There are several saw alternatives for the Logosel M7 sawmill. You should never stand in front of the guide bar while the saw is running. A shield is fitted over the guide bar tip for extra safety. In order to make sure that the Logosol sawmill stands securely without any risk of tipping, the long and short legs should be bolted down. This is where the planks used during transport come in handy so long as they extend at least 50 centimetres outside the long legs. The log grip helps hold the log in place during sawing. It's also used to fasten one end of the feed line. There's a guard on the log grip that prevents injury when the guide bar leaves the end of the log. The saw carriage slides smoothly on the plastic sliding blocks. The low friction blocks have long working lives and are easy to replace. Once the feed line has been fitted to the log grip, the Logosol sawmill is ready to go. Even though it's possible to position the sawmill near the logs to be sawn, there will always be some need to move them. Since the logs must be raised a half a metre from the ground, it's best to use some type of loading frame. Smaller logs can be used to advantage. There are many tricks and aids for handling the logs. It's not even an hour since the sawmill was taken down from the car roof. The pine has been felled, trimmed and sized. The first cut is completed. There's something very special about sawing your own planks out in the woods. It's hard to imagine a better work environment than a forest meadow on a lovely spring day or in the cold clear autumn air. One tree will yield a lot of timber. Since many see sawing with the Logosol sawmill as pure pleasure, it's probably not very interesting to discuss how much can be cut per hour or per day or... But if you're satisfied with cutting of a few trees per day, you'll neither need to hurry nor to work all day. The Logosol sawmill yields accurate measures. The guide bar travels straight through the log and the variance is seldom more than a few millimetres. The special splitting chain leaves a kerf of around 6 mm, or only one more than a modern circular saw. The surface is good, even somewhat smoother than with other methods. The Swedish National Testing Institute has checked the sawmill capacity, calculating that a petrol fuel chainsaw can deliver 2.3 cubic meters of sawn products in a day. When Logosol participated in the American Championships in small-scale sawing in May 2000, the numbers were naturally quite different. Our US representative, Roy Bjorklund, sawed one-inch boards at a speed corresponding to 3.5 cubic meters per day. People in the United States have been impressed by the capabilities of the Logosol sawmill too. Owners of the M5 Swedish mill have been able to accomplish a lot with their sawmills. We recently visited one such owner in Philadelphia, Mississippi. Mark Harrison was one of the first USA owners of the Logosol portable sawmill. He discovered the capabilities of this unique sawmill and used it to cut framing lumber for his impressive 4,500 square foot home. 
you know, I didn't start off planning on cutting all the lumber from my house until after I got to using it. And I cut uh, a, a good deal of lumber for the for the porch originally, and then uh, I got to thinking, well, I can go ahead and cut the rest of it. So uh, I sat down with my plan and went over everything and found out and made me a list of what all the lumber I needed to do the framing, and I cut all the framing. Oh, I got better quality lumber out of this than I did if I went to the store and bought it. The quality of lumber that I've got is way superior than what you go buy. And you can tell the difference when you go to put a nail in this and put a nail in that kill drive. That lumber right there is a lot stronger than bought lumber, I can tell you. The Logosol sawmill is generous when it comes to log size. When the logs get larger, you just reach for a longer guide bar. No special arrangements are needed for logs as large as 60 centimeters in diameter, weighing up to 500 kilograms. With a reinforced log support and really long guide bar, even larger and heavier logs can be sawn. Nor is the length a problem as the Logosol sawmill is easy to extend. In 1998, in the US, Logosol saw the world's longest 2x4, all of 35.5 meters long. Where they had all their students sign it as a pledge to stay in school and hung it up and called it their. The Logosol sawmill has also become a favorite with hobby carpenters. For them, it's often a question of extracting extremely valuable pieces from short logs. Top-class pieces from such sources as fruit trees simply cannot be found in the lumber yards. Even domestic trees like wild cherry and mountain ash come only in short pieces. The Logosol sawmill lets you save much that would otherwise be firewood. One reason for the high production capacity of the relatively simple Logosol sawmill is that the work is done in a good work position. The logs are usually loaded onto the cross members and rolled into the log supports at a comfortable working height. Then they are cranked up to the right level. Once the plank is sawn, it's removed at the same comfortable height. The low weight is another reason the saw is so comfortable to use. It's easy to move and transport. The extruded aluminium frame is amazingly durable in relation to its weight. We've almost never heard of damage to the Logosol sawmill from overloading. The damage we've run across has almost always been caused by tractors running into the sawmill, usually in connection with snow ploughing during the winter. Since the aluminium profile construction is assembled using nuts and bolts, replacing damaged parts is easy. The Logosol sawmill is a superb example of suitable material use. The usual dictum is to use a minimum amount of right material seen both environmentally and financially. By these measurements, the strength of the aluminium in relation to its weight makes this an optimal construction. And since it's fully anodized, the sawmill will last forever, be maintenance-free and rust-proof. The Logosol sawmill can use many different saw and milling units. For a starter, it's possible to use nearly all brands of chainsaws, provided the motor is sufficiently strong. The Logosol sawmill is the perfect machine for everyone wanting to spend some time cutting their own planks. The capacity is more than enough for household needs. The final quality is fully comparable to what is achieved by much larger and more expensive machines. 